hey guys, it's drdrake 63 and uh, thanks for joining me today. And today I very briefly want to answer the question, what the hell happened to Remington? Remington Firearms Company, which was uh, founded in uh, Ilion, New York in, in, the, in the early 1800s, America's oldest surviving, longest running firearms manufacturer. Uh, they've been around for a long time. They've made things like sewing machines, typewriters. They've 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 diversified uh, at any number of times. They were very important armory for the United States military through a number of wars. What the hell happened to them? Because they're basically disappearing off the map. Well, what happened to them was uh, they were acquired by a financial group. They weren't acquired by gun people. And uh, they became a part of what was a conglomerate called the Freedom Group that owned Remington, it owned Bushmaster at one point. They purchased Marlin. And uh, basically, they blew it. They blew it. A big reason for that is, is what happened with Bushmaster. Was a firearm that was uh, an AR style variant uh, that was used in a couple high profile shooting incidents. Uh, one of them was is that it was used by the, the infamous DC sniper back in uh, the early 2000. And then uh, uh, 2011, 2012, you had the Sandy Hook thing, which was uh, again an incident involving a Bushmaster and product liability brought it to a point to where uh, there were a lot of lawsuits filed for liability against Bushmaster, which was a Cerebrus group company. And uh, uh, basically everything started falling apart, but it wasn't just that. That was kind of what, what pushed it over the edge. I don't know why, but US gun manufacturers, and I particularly think about Colt, and I think about uh, Remington have been poorly managed from a financial standpoint for many, many years. Not 100% sure why. I know in the case of Remington, they relocated a lot of their manufacturing to Alabama and other things because they had some very high labor costs uh, and, uh, and some long old school uh, existing union situations. But basically, um, uh, they haven't known what they're doing when it comes to managing their box which I know a lot of you say, hey, gosh, firearms have been flying off the shelves for a long time. How could this be? Well, it's one thing to sell a lot of stuff. It's another thing to invest your money wisely. Uh, Remington bought Marlin. have turned around, and now uh, that has been split off, and they're going to be owned by Ruger, at least the name is. Uh, I expect that uh, the, the Marlins will be a production that are investment cast and you'll see the 336 live on. You'll see the 1895 variants live on. Beyond that, who knows? Are they going to take a run at Henry, who seems to have really uh, come up and dominated the U.S. lever action market? So we'll see. It won't be like the Marlins that you used to get. But uh, the point is, is, is they're having a big sell-off. They sold their, their ammunition group, which was a big part of their profitability, sold that off uh, to Vista Outdoors, a.k.a. Federal Premium, uh, which is headquartered up uh, near where I live in Minnesota. Um, what's going to happen to the rifles? I mean, Remington for years, the staple uh, in the hunting world, one of the staples, the Remington 700, a very successful rifle. I've very first ever hunting rifle I owned was a Remington 730 odd six. They're shotguns, uh, the 870 in particular, the very first shotgun I ever owned was a Remington 870. Not clear who's going to be manufacturing those lines. You'd think they'd keep them, they'd keep them going though, just because they, they have uh, such a large following. Uh, but we'll see. Um, recently, and by recently, I mean 2013, they came out with the 783 in the budget rifle category. And you've seen that on this channel. It's a great design. Maybe uh, Remington's last design that was a success. 
because everything else they've tried since then, their R51 was an attempt to get into the personal defense carry semi-automatic handgun world. It failed miserably. And uh, the whole thing just fell apart. And uh, the biggest reason I think it fell apart, like I said, is it was a capital investment group. It was money guys, bean counters, who didn't know a damn thing about firearms, firearms production or firearms marketing, that, uh, uh, that just bought it looking to make a buck. It didn't work out. The big Bushmaster lawsuit comes along and out the, out the door they go and they're selling it off like a fire sale. Um, very unfortunate. Now, I mentioned Colt earlier being known for years for financial mismanagement. There's talks going on right now for them to be purchased by CZ, CZ Firearms out of the Czech Republic. Now, I think that's actually a very good thing for Colt because it's an actual quality, experienced firearms manufacturer buying Colt, which I think is going to fare a hell of a lot better than having bean counters purchase Remington. So in a nutshell, that's what happened to Remington. It wasn't that their products weren't good, although I've heard and seen a lot of reports that in the last few years they have gone downhill. Um, it's, it's a sad situation. And I think that uh, uh, America's oldest firearms manufacturer uh, is really not going to exist. If you go to their website right now, you don't even get to look at products, i.e. firearms. They don't even post them up. You do still see them available as new on some of the websites, Cabela's, Gander Outdoors. You can still see a Remington this or a Remington that, but it'll typically stay out, out of stock or low stock. They're not getting new ones. So Remington, as we know it, is dead. I think it's very unfortunate. It's a storied firearms manufacturer. They've been a, a big player for a long time, over 200 years, and they're gone now, guys. So, um, you know, let's, uh, let's sing a sad song and, uh, and take our hats off to the glory years. Those are gone. And like I said, it'll be interesting in seeing who picks up some of these product lines that have always done well, like the shotguns, like, like some of the hunting rifles. But uh, that's the world we live in, you know. Uh, the, the market of U.S. manufacturing is going to continue to be, uh, and more so, dominated by people like Ruger, people like Henry. And, uh, you know, right now your Winchesters are made in Japan, your Brownings are made in Japan. So who's making guns in the U.S.? It's Ruger and Henry for the most part. So that's the world we live in, like it or not. Anyway, this is Dr. Drake with a quick update. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, keep shooting. Stay safe.